Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be turning this old, unsupported Acer C740 Chromebook into a working Windows 11 laptop. And I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, however, it is possible to install Windows on this Chromebook. It's actually possible to install Windows on a variety of Chromebooks, and so in this video, we're going to be trying that out and just showing you how it works. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually shut down this machine, because we need to actually open it up. We need to open it up and remove the write protection screw. If we don't do this, we can't write a new firmware which will allow us to boot Windows and any OS that we want. The screw's location will vary depending on your model of Chromebook, however for me, it's right by the battery connection. So when we get in this laptop, I'll make sure to show you exactly where that is. Alright, so now that we're in the machine, we can go ahead and locate that write protection screw, which is right here, like I said, by the battery and the SSD. In some models, it might be over here, in some it could be really wherever. The easiest way to find it is to go ahead and remove it, and then where the right protection screw is, you'll see there's all kinds of pads. Those pads basically tell the Chromebook if the screw is there, and therefore it knows if right protection is enabled or disabled. Look around your motherboard and find those pads. For example, on this screw hole, there are no pads because that is not a right protection screw. Once our write protection has been removed, we can go ahead and put the Chromebook back together. I would not recommend putting the screws back in until everything is fully installed, as I would recommend putting that write protection screw back in when we're done. Once we're done removing the write protection screw, we now need to enable developer mode. And to do that, we just need to press escape, refresh, and power at the same time. And then when it comes up and says Chrome OS is missing or damaged, we need to press control D and then enter. Now when it says OS verification is off, we can go ahead and press Ctrl D again. As long as your Chromebook is not managed, you'll be brought here. So your local data will be cleared, your system will transition into developer mode, and then we'll be brought into the setup screen where we can set it up like a brand new Chromebook. This takes roughly 5 minutes, so go ahead and sit back, go do something else, and we'll come back when this is done. Alright, so now that our Chromebook is successfully in developer mode, we can just go ahead and set it up like we normally would go ahead through, log in with our Google account, connect to the internet, and we just need to get into the desktop so we can go ahead and run a script. Actually, we don't have to go ahead and sign in. We can just click Browse as Guest, and then it should bring us here. Yes, it does. And from here, we can go ahead and press Control-Alt-T to open the terminal, and then type Shell, and we are exactly where we need to be right now. We are now in the Chrome OS shell. So from here, we need to CD into there. And now we can type curl l o https colon slash slash mr chromebox.tech slash firmware dash util dot sh. And now that we've done that, we can just go ahead and run sudo bash firmware util dot sh and click enter. And as long as it works, we should see that it is downloading, supporting files, and that kind of stuff. If you get an error, just restart your Chromebook, and then it should fix it for you. We're going to go ahead and press Option 2, because that will install slash update our full ROM software. And basically, you're just going to have to go through and confirm everything, that like you know what you're doing, and I think I just pressed the wrong option. Alright, so you went to continue you agree that you need to install UFI compatible. And I highly recommend creating a backup of your stock firmware. Just go ahead and insert a USB and then click Y. However, I already have a backup of the firmware for this machine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click No. And now it's gonna download the full ROM and go ahead and install it on your Chromebook. Once the ROM is finished installing, we can go ahead and go back to our main menu and then reboot the system and then insert a Windows installer. Now if you're installing Windows 11, you need to have a custom installer USB because as we know, Windows 11 has UEFI and TPM requirements and this Chromebook definitely is not supported by any means. So we are going to have to go ahead and make a custom USB, which I've already done. So the first boot of the UEFI system will take a while because it's a brand new ROM and it might take a little bit. However, once it boots, the first thing that we're going to have to do is just spam the escape key because that brings us into our boot options. And here we are inside of our little BIOS. We can go down to boot menu and then select USB, USB disk 2. And if it boots successfully, we'll see the boot logo and then we should see the little spinning wheel on the bottom. 
Now to get through Windows Installer, you will need a USB mouse because the touchpad on Chrome OS does not work without drivers. So go ahead and grab a USB mouse right now. All right, so now that I have a USB mouse inserted, we can go ahead and just go through like we're installing Windows on a normal computer. So at this point, you've basically gotten past every proprietary thing. Now we just have to install Windows and then install the drivers. If you have a product key, go ahead and enter it. However, I would recommend installing Windows 11 Pro N for workstations, as that is probably the most lightweight version. It doesn't come with as much bloatware as Pro does, and overall, it's just more lightweight. Now here comes the fun part. Because of how Chrome OS is installed, there are all these partitions on the SSD. So we have to go through and delete every single partition until we have a 14.9 gigabyte unallocated space, or however big your SSD in your Chromebook is. In some Chromebooks, like this C740, the SSD is upgradable. However, I don't have an SSD to throw in it right now, so we are stuck with 16 gigabytes. However, for a web browsing device, that's probably way more than enough, and that's what this Chromebook is going to be used for. And once all of our partitions are unallocated space, we can just go ahead and click Next, and now we're installing Windows on this Acer C740. So this could take a while depending on how fast or how old your system is, so just go ahead and let this run until you see Windows Setup. Alright, and here we are. We are now in the Windows 11 Setup on our Chromebook. So honestly, we've done it. All that's left to do is set up Windows like we would on a normal computer. So for some reason my network would not connect, so I'm going to go ahead and try that later. However, once we get into the desktop, all we have to do is install two drivers, the Chromebook keyboard remapping utility and the touchpad drivers. Once we do that, the graphics driver will download automatically and we should be good. All right, and we are now connected to the internet, so we should be automatically downloading a display driver. Yeah, we are. Um, so for the drivers, all we need to do is go ahead and go to the website that I've linked in the description and download these two drivers, which I already have on the install USB, CROS Touchpad and Chromebook Remap. The first thing we're going to do is install the Chromebook Touchpad driver. Make sure that we can trust the human interface device software, and once we do that, our touchpad should work just like that. So we can go ahead and complete that, and then install the Chromebook Remap, which basically allows the Chromebook proprietary keys to be used as the regular F1, F2, F3 keys. And now that that's done, all we have to do is just wait for our display driver and our audio driver to be downloaded automatically through Windows Update, and we should be good. Although one thing to be worried about is your storage if you have a 16 gigabyte device. Um, we have 3.2 gigabytes free right now. So what I recommend doing is just going into the command prompt, clicking run as administrator, and then typing the command compact.exe slash compact os always. And then let this run. This will basically compact the operating system and make sure that you have enough space. All right, so here are the drivers like I was talking about. It just is downloading uh, Windows Defender right now. However, the drivers that we need are the driver update for graphics and the audio device drivers. So they will be installed, um, we'll just give them some time and we'll be back when they are fully installed and everything is all good to go. And here we are. This is our final product. This is the Acer C740 Chromebook running Windows 11. So I have noticed that it does have some problems just coming out of sleep, however it appears to come out of sleep good this time. Um, our keyboard gestures work, everything seems to work, graphics drivers did install so that appears to be pretty good and without using a debloating tool just the compact.exe we have 3.58 gigabytes free which honestly isn't that bad if we ran the windows 11 debloater we'd probably get down to a little bit less um, i've been using one of these as my main machine for the last day and honestly battery life isn't that bad i expected it to be worse but honestly it's pretty good Overall, this machine is way more than usable. It can run basic applications. It can run Google Classroom, Google Docs, any Google app. It can run web browsers. It can run YouTube videos at 1080p. And I even had it connected to a second display with my keyboard and mouse, and it ran perfect. So honestly, this is a really good idea if you need a cheap Windows machine. The only thing I would do is upgrade that 16 gigabyte drive 
which on these Acers, they are actually really easy to upgrade. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.